do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Game Dexterity. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can prepare your external hard drive so that you can rip or transfer your Wii games, your Nintendo Wii games, to your external hard drive. So this is going to be the first video, and in the second video, which will be coming in the near future, is I'll show you how you can actually make that work with your Nintendo Wii. So we'll save all that, all that technicalities for that second video. So let's get started with this video, which is more important. So first things first is we're going to download the latest copy of Wii Backup Manager. It's a free program. If you go to the More Info section, you can download it. I'll have a link to Mediafire because I don't really like waiting to um, go to these ad supported links. Sort of a pain in the but so you download it and you just run it so let me go ahead and, and go there right now so we backup manager and what's nice is it has the 32-bit executable and the 64-bit so I'm gonna run 64-bit because I'm running Windows 7 64-bit at the time of this recording and this is what the program looks like now versatile how do I use this program alright so it's pretty simple let me go through uh, some of the quick options here so we got file we got the view here you can view the different covers the game information how you want it from top to bottom um, options we go to settings here and I'm not gonna go through all these settings because honestly I did not mess with them but if you guys want to mess with it by all means go ahead I'm sure if you go to the forum you go to the website you can learn about all of this but for sake of time I don't mess with it I'm still a boss of my Nintendo Wii. It's fine. You guys don't have to mess with it unless you really, really, really want to. Okay, tools, format drives. So this is where you would format your external hard drive in the proper format. You could do WBF. WBFS, FAT32, or NTFS. My recommendation, use NTFS. That way is if you rip games to the NTFS partition, you can still use it in Windows or you know some other operating system if it supports it. If you use the WBFS, it's a pain because you can't see it inside the My Computer. So if I go to My Computer right now, for example, I have the letter E, which is my other external hard drive, and it's formatted as WBFS. So I cannot access it. I have to actually use a special Wii program, for example, to get into it. And then here's the NTFS hard drive that I got going on. Okay, so I'm going to skip that. If you have a drive you want to format, by all means, go ahead and do that right now. And here's the help, and here's the donate. And if you go to help and go check for updates, it checks to see if you have the latest version. Awesome. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is let's go ahead and set up my hard drives. So I have two external hard drives connected to my desktop computer for an example here. So let me connect my first one. So drive one. For me, it's actually letter E. as a partition. And I already have some Wii games uh, ripped to it. So here's some examples of some Wii games there. Now, drive 2, let's go and select my other external hard drive, which is the letter G, and it says, this is a valid drive, but there's no WBFS folder created now, and the answer is yes. Now, this is where it gets really, really awesome. Um, let's do the simple uh, task first. Let's say you have a brand new hard drive, brand new partition, or USB thumb drive, whatever you want to use, and you want to copy a game to it, prepare it for Nintendo Wii style. Fine. So let's go to Files here, Files tab, and say go to Add. You can add a file or you can add a folder. So let's go ahead and add a folder, for example. So if I go to my computer here, and I go to my uh, one of my partitions that I know has a game in here, so I, we're going to do sports, uh, sports Resorts. And what happens here is it recognizes that it's in the RAR format, and then it will proceed to rip it. So if I go here, select it, and go to Transfer, and then I say I want to transfer it to Drive 2. And now it's in the process of transferring right here. Pretty cool. And what you could also do is, I'm going to wait for this thing to transfer, um, it can also download, you can download the CD covers and the CD, you know, cover art right here basically with the text to your USB hard drive. So then when you pop into the Wii, you have all your sexy cover art information, you know what I mean? Now, what is it doing right here? So this particular program is pretty smart. It has the ability to uncompress your RAR file. So let's say you got a game from somewhere and it's in a bunch of different RAR files for whatever reason, right? So rather than extract it to an ISO and then use this program to load the ISO, this program will automatically extract it and then automatically convert it over or do what it needs to do to put it on a USB hard drive. So that's pretty cool. So this might take a while, so let me pause the video momentarily and then we'll get back into the thick of action. All right, we are back. So the Wii Sports has finished um, transferring the resort version. So here's the game. I want to add some cover art. Notice how it already uh, downloads or somehow got the text. That's awesome. So let's go ahead. If I go to covers here and say, you know, download, sync and download all, that's fine. And it's going to go ahead and download. Sweet. That's what I'm talking about. Now, let's say that you had, I don't know how this DVD drive works. You can't put in a Wii disc and try to rip it. It doesn't work like that. I just tried it. But maybe you had a, a, a backed up copy or something. Maybe you can go from the disc to the hard drive. But um, if that option works for you, by all means, go for it. So what I'm going to do next here is if you go to 
um, database, what's pretty cool is you can go to tools and you say update from game TDB and it downloads this whole database all the different games. So there's a game you're missing or you want to learn about a particular game, you can use this database. And you can also use this database to help rename your text folders too. If you go to options, go to settings, I just figured this out, you can go to titles here, use the game TDB titles.txt and use it to rename your folders. There's a lot of good times there. So anyways, let's go back. So I'm actually going to be in the process of transferring all my games from one external hard drive to the next because I think it's going to die on me. So how do you do that, right? Or you, let's say you want to make a backup copy for your hard drive, right? So what you do is select the games that you want to transfer. So in this particular example, let's go ahead and select all of these on my first external hard drive. And then I'm going to go to transfer and say transfer to drive two, which is my second external hard drive that has more free space, for example. And then it's going to be in the process of literally transfer these over from one hard drive to the next. So this is really useful. Let's say your friend, his hard drive crashed or something, and you have the same type of games that he does. He brings his hard drive over. You do a quick uh, copy from a hard drive one to hard drive two, done, and you start playing like a boss like you always want it to be. So that's pretty much it. This is a pretty simple program. I like this program better than some other programs out there. I realize some YouTube viewers out there might say, hey, Versatile, I like some other program XYZ. Whatever. If you have a program that you like, man, by all means, just go for it. You don't need me to tell you what program to use if there's one you're already comfortable with. And if you like this program, great. You know, that's awesome. So that's pretty much all I got going on today. I know this video is a little bit long, but I felt that it was better to have a video dedicated to this process, get you guys on the right foot, and then tomorrow or whenever we can focus on the second video, which shows you how to get the um, applications put on your SD card, and then we'll go on to the Wii, and I'll show you an example of, I'm going to go over USB Loader GX, and then I'm also going to go over Wii Flow, and then one more program, the CFG Loader Mod, and show you how all three will work, and then you can make your own decision in terms of, yeah, I like this particular program, no, I hate this program, this program sucks, or whatever, and you can do whatever you want because I am a proud supporter of being flexible and knowing what my options are and doing what I like to do not because of what people are shoving down my throat you know what I mean so if you like this type of video please like favorite and subscribe so that hopefully one day we can get to the front page of YouTube otherwise if you got any nitpicky questions leave a comment here on YouTube page and I'll get back to you as soon as possible once again thank you for watching take care bye